hello friends welcome to another episode of it's about everything in today's episode i'm going to show you how you can convert a 220 volt led bulb into a 12 volt led bulb here you can see i have two led bulbs at hand smaller one is a 3 watt led bulb and the larger one is a 9 watt led bulb so i've already converted the smaller one here you can see all the rewiring connections and everything on the LEDs you can see it is three LEDs and they were previously connected in series but I have connected them in parallel so after testing the voltage of this LED SMD chips I found out that it works on 12 volt directly on each single chip so what I did is I used a 12 volt uh, linear voltage regulator LM7812 voltage regulator and I have connected it inside and it seems to work perfectly so now I'm going to show you how it works So here you can see I have used normal holder, a B22 holder. Now the bulb needs to be connected with the correct polarity because if it's not then it's not going to work. With the correct polarity it it will work here you can see it's creating a beautiful lens flare after putting the diffuser on top of the bulb it's going to reduce the sharpness of the LED SMD chips and it's going to give a smooth blended light it's not going to hurt the eyes so you can see the intensity is pretty much comparable to what it was before I don't know whether you can see it on the camera or not so let's keep it aside and now let's begin with the 9 watt LED bulb and I'm going to show you how to convert it now this 9 watt LED bulb is actually a cheap quality LED bulb the smaller one was a branded company it was a branded company and it had three LED chips that was very good but this one is a cheap company and it does not even have a driver inside it uses a series connected capacitor and a resistance to reduce the voltage you can see all the SMDs are fine only a few are burned and that's why it was not working plus these SMD chips are only 3 volts or maybe 4 volts so I can use it in some other project but for today I'm not going to use this LED SMD chips for the record I would like to say that SMD means surface mounted device so this is the LED board that I'm going to replace with it's an automotive uh, sorry automotive uh, decorative lighting panel it's, it's used in uh, cars or you can say in bike people use it in different type of decorations inside car or under the bike or under the car and I've taken it from there it works on 12 volt and it has resistance assembly resistance on the panel so I'm going to open up this panel and I'm going to replace it with the other one so 
so I'm going to open up this panel and you can see I have disordered it I'm going to use it in some other projects and I'm going to open up the wires in this panel as well you can see here it has the similar type of LED SMD chips it gives out a light intensity of about 300 or 400 lumen and it has a very less surface area for the heat sink so I'm going to use an extra heat sink so here you can see I have used a strip of aluminium and I have shaped it like a U an inverted U and I'm going to use some thermal paste and I'm going to paste both of them together and I'm going to use some epoxy glue on the side so that the remains in position as you can see it easily fits in and this panel is going to be centered and after that I'm going to directly solder the connections so let's get to it so I'm using this white uh, thermal compound thermal conductive compound so that it doesn't heats up so I'm going to use the thermal compound in the middle and from the side I'm going to use epoxy glue to set it so here I'm taking some measurements on the side where I'm going to use the epoxy glue So I'm carefully applying the epoxy, sorry not the epoxy, the thermal compound. Here you can see and I have left the place where I'm going to use the epoxy glue because the epoxy glue won't stick with the thermal compound. So I have to be very careful here. So the thickness or the viscosity of the thermal compound is making the LED panel to stick to the aluminum plate. So I'm going to use this stickiness to align it to perfectly on the center and then I'm going to apply some epoxy glue. The epoxy glue I'm using it sets in about uh, 10 minutes and it solidifies or uh, completely hardens in about 1 hour and 30 minutes so I have only 10 minutes at hand to apply it here I cannot rush in uh, apply in applying the epoxy glue because if I do it in a hurry then the LED panel might go on the side or might not remain aligned because the thermal compound is very sticky and very slippery and the panel might slide off from the center and 
it might not remain aligned so here you can see it's completely applied and I'm going to wait for it to dry so after about 15 minutes it's completely uh, not completely but it's just started to set it's not sticky anymore and it will completely solidify in about one or two hours so now I can work with it so I'm going to gently push it into this cavity in the middle of the bulb I don't need additional support So it's in the middle. Now I'm soldering the wires carefully. Now just like the previous bulb I have to uh, maintain the polarity or I have to keep in mind the polarity while connecting it with the battery because in reverse polarity it will not work. However, if we connect it in reverse, then there is nothing bad going to happen to the SMD chips because they are just like uh, diodes, they won't conduct or pass electricity in the reverse direction. So you can see it's completely soldered. now I'm using the tweezer to place the wires carefully because I don't want the wire to touch the aluminium plates because if it gets hot then the wires might melt and I don't want that I don't think the wire is going to melt but still I'm taking the precaution here So here you can see I have put back the diffuser and now I'm going to test it. So you can see it's in reverse polarity does not work so I had to reverse the wire and you can see its brightness is little bit more than the smaller one I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not but its intensity is about 300 to 400 lumen which is comparable to an emergency light so thanks a lot for watching guys I hope you like this video if so then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button as well so i'll see you soon in the next video till then stay tuned and have a nice day